it's my 52nd Sunday case study. That means an entire year of weekly palmistry case studies. This week, we're looking at Timothy Chalamet. I think I'm saying his name right. Exceptionally gorgeous young man. And I've got some fantastic images of his palms here, in particular this one. And I'm going to be looking at his uh, potentials, who he is as a character, as a person, what we can see about his emo emotional kind of framework, his his psychology, uh, what his palms reveal about um, who he is as a person. And also, I'm going to talk about his future as well. Um, so this in the left hand, it shows what's internal. So I'll be looking at the fate line here. I'll be looking at the heart line in particular um, to, to really find out more about his kind of emotional uh, complexities and uh, and how his mind works as well so i'm, I'm really interested to see uh, what we're going to get out from this video and i want to know what your thoughts are as well so already i get a great sense about this man from uh, the shape of his hands and fingers right here now i can already i'm getting a bit of a picture of things as well and there's a few signs and hints here obviously this isn't a great image but just the shape of things uh shows me the shape of things that come in terms of his personality and his makeup and who he is and in this image here, I can almost pretend that it's my head on his shoulders. Seriously, though, I get a great sense of emotional complexity, the kind of, um, you know, emotional complex complexity you expect from, um, you know, a highly talented actor. And and the reason why I say that is because of the, the texture of the skin, um, the, the length of the fingers, and, and just how sort of delicate in appearance they are. They're, they're very rounded. You can almost see... Um, there's a sort of like a droplet um, shape kind of fingerprint, you know, um, tips. And this always uh, creates a, an extra sort of sensitivity to a person. And the shape of the palm as well, it, it's, it's broader up top than it is down the bottom. And this shows someone who's highly active in um, the, the mental and emotional zones. There's a greater degree of emotional and uh, mental capacity there there's a lot going on with a high amount of activity up there as well and and notice how that the jupiter and saturn are, are higher they're higher set uh, so this is the jupiter thing and this is the saturn and this is ambition um ego judgment authority and uh, the duty the path in life that this person's career so and and particularly what i find interesting here is jupiter's elevated and so it's in line with uh, Apollo here. And this is not the best example because, you know, of, of, of the natural kind of finger leanings. If we want to really look at finger length, I think this is probably a more accurate depiction on the left hand. And it's, we still see it. It's very even. Jupiter and Apollo being even in length shows a person's, uh, as I say, Jupiter is about ego and our idea of our self, our ambitions and um and so when this is in line with Apollo, Apollo is achievements, talents. It's our ability to shine. It's what makes us shine in life. And it's our sense of joy and success, and which is why the, the sun line, the success line, rises up beneath this thing, rising towards Apollo. Now, when we see Jupiter and Apollo that are level with each other, it shows a person's um, idea of their own abilities is... Is, is measured. They have a good understanding, a good idea of what they are capable of, of their own achievements, of their own worth as well. And actually, what I commonly see in Hollywood A-list actors is a very short Jupiter, a stunted kind of um, a, a weak and fragile ego that's often compensated for by the need for sex, drugs, rock and roll, womanizing. Uh, womanizing. I don't see that here. The classic signs for that, as I, as I are as i say jupiter finger being very short this is not a short jupiter finger and we don't see a, a widened basal phalanx of the, the jupiter finger which would show the physical uh, need to uh, dominate and that's that um that sign of compensation with um sex uh, and alcohol and drugs and womanizing we don't see that here we actually see a very measured approach to uh, his idea of himself now what we do see is jupiter bending in slightly at the at the second knot now that is interesting so i'm going to put my head on his shoulders again i'm sure this gag is going to get old at some point um what i find interesting about this is that on his left hand here notice how jupiter at the second knot it turns inwards towards the thumb 
And, and this is always a sign of an independent thinker. His thoughts and feelings are very um, abstract and they are non-conformist. Notice his headline, it comes from Jupiter itself. This is, this is remarkable ambition. This is a strong sense of what it is he wishes to do and where he places his um, acumen. His, his decision making comes from a, a strong and, and high place of um, where it is he, he wants to uh, be in the world. His, his idea of himself, notice this is the left hand, so this is what's internal, is it's it's quite it's it's a high opinion but again it's not too high it's not too if we saw jupiter was in line with saturn if we saw it was almost an equal length or or the same then we'd see a superiority complex we're not seeing that and we're not seeing a weakened ego either this he's got and as i say measured this is someone who has high aspirations high ambition a high view of himself but only because he knows what he is worth and I think these ambitions come from uh, a place of idealism and uh, a strong and um, a very complex emotional nature. And, and the other thing is I, I notice, and I think this is really significant as well, notice the angle here of the thumb. This is a low set thumb, and this is a superb angle here. This shows a, a real kind of open-minded nature. And again, being an independent thinker, as well as someone who is very open-minded, is is open to receiving the experiences uh, around him in life to in order to uh, become enriched um, in his ability to play roles, to, to jump inside uh, the, the mind of the characters he plays. And, and I think this really provides, um, you know, a, a real kind of chemistry on, on screen, a real presence. What this is also a sign of is a book lover, someone who is, you know, as I say, they're open to experiences, open to absorbing information around them as well. And it's a sign of a humanitarian. And I believe that because when we look at his heart line, we can see here, and this is a remarkable picture, and I, and I love the treat people with kindness um, slogan at the bottom of whatever he's wearing here in this image. And you notice the heart line here. I say he has a, an emotional complex nature because when you look at the heart line, it branches, it branches beautifully. And it branches here in between Saturn and Jupiter. Now, as I've already said, Jupiter is the place of the self. It's how we see ourselves in the world. It's our uh, judgment. And um, it's, it's, how, it's how we matter, our thoughts and feelings and our sense of righteousness. It's how... Um, our opinion matters and then saturn is the inevitable it's the it's our duty it's how we hold ourselves upright in society it's our sense of um, right and wrong our conscious conscience so when we have a heart line that is branching up in between the two it shows a, a measured sense of a, a good sense of right and wrong it shows someone who's brought up with a good moral compass so not only do we have that, we also have this branching over into high idealism. This is again in the sense of um, it's it's a sign of uh, philanthropy. It's a sign of a, a very sort of charitable nature. Someone who wishes to give far and wide. And I see that also by the headline as well, because a headline that reaches this far over into down deep into lunar, a place of imagination, restlessness, creativity, um, a, a need to escape. And this makes perfect sense. When you're throwing your mind into a place of abstract ex escapism, independent thoughts, uh, non-conformist ideas, this is a, a, a wild and um, a highly imaginative person. But a headline that reaches this far into lunar, the headline that reaches this far across the palm itself is a sign of someone who is affecting the lives of many through their decisions. So we have here someone who is uh, inspirational, influencing. And I think I think that there, you know, when we say, when we see a headline, and we, see, we saw it um, earlier on the left hand here with this high rising uh, idealistic uh, headline here on the left hand, and then when we see on the right hand, you know, the, the length 
of this headline, it, it shows where his thoughts are coming from the left shows the internal the right shows the external so we, we're seeing this ambition this high idealism uh on the left hand coming to fruition on the right and how he's affecting the rest of the world because luna is a place of travel and restlessness and reaching the rest of the world as well as reaching into our subconscious uh so it's 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 interesting to me to see uh, the effects of the headline and how um palmistry is showing us how his mind is working interesting how his thumb is turned slightly inwards a little bit in this picture not so much in this image here so i'm not going to take too much from this but this is a sign of sort of cautiousness nervousness he was perhaps worried a little bit about what was in the background when he took this image can we see it in any other image maybe it's turned in a little bit there as well not so much there and it's also turned in here as well i do think there is something in this now i did a video recently on inward turned uh, thumbs turned inwards and, and what this means so feel free to have a watch of that and i feel that this is relevant here now again in this image here it could have been at the time this picture was taken there's um an unconscious kind of um fear indecisiveness um a, a fear that his um his will is not being heard in some way there could have, there could just be some sort of cautiousness here but it's often a sign of someone who's taken away um, the choices of another someone is doing all the heavy lifting and uh, and de-skilled in some sort of way so have a watch of uh, the video that i've made on that if you find that if you think there's anything in that I do think that he may well be um at risk of some sort of indecision i think he could well be um quite indecisive and actually that makes a lot of sense because as an actor you need to have let's just see what we can see here Obviously, you need to have a, a good ability to see things from more than one angle, to see more than one perspective. And with that extra perspective, you often see a fork at the end of a headliner with actors. It's known as the writer's fork. You see it in uh, lawyers, psychologists, actors, and, of course, writers. And it's because you need that extra perspective in those roles in particular. That's why you see it on those people's palms. And that can create a little bit of indecision. What can also create indecision is a long headline. And that's because the thought processes are quite long this person obviously thinks very long and hard about uh, their decisions a short headline is someone who's uh, very able to make snap decisions and uh, quite often has much shorter fingers as well the two aren't uh, directly correlated necessarily but it just means that when you have a combination of a long headline and long fingers and it makes things quite difficult to uh, to to make those snap decisions. This is someone who is a is a deep thinker, deep analyzer. That's also noted by the knots themselves on the fingers on the second uh, knuckles here. Now then, let's get into something a bit more specific. Notice the heart line here. It's long, which, as I've already said, is a sign of someone who's highly idealistic. It reaches right over onto Jupiter, but it does branch downwards towards the lifeline at the early life and the headline is slightly separate from the lifeline this shows someone who again i've already mentioned an abstract thinker an independent thinker someone who is quite a radical thinker thinks uh, completely outside of the conventions of um, society it's not so far removed that there's impatience and a rashness so it's it's a fascinating um, key feature here the, the this, this headline it's got a wonderful creative curve here into a strong and well-developed mount of lunar and notice that the lifeline the way it swings outwards around venus here it creates an exceptionally large mount of venus i think this person has a very warm uh heart a very warm spirit and i think they are also they probably have quite a complex uh, love language as well and i say that because the conventional heart line is someone whose heart line rises right upwards like this you know a, a curve upwards normally in between these two fingers and it that that's your typical sort of heart line job done whereas uh, in timothy's case it reaches over like this and it's it's fairly straight here on the left hand and it shows a very sort of complex uh, psychological emotional framework so this is someone who um requires a, a lot of 
psychological kind of stimulation in order to uh, become aroused. And that's not to say that he's um, not an exceptional lover, because I believe he is. He has all of the signs of someone who is highly understanding. Their ability to communicate and express is exceptional. And one of the key um, faculties of, ex of communication, one of the key traits here is listening. A lot of people don't talk about listening being one of the, the, the key abilities of communication. If we can't understand, then how can we um, read our partners? How can we know how best to, to treat them, how they want to feel how uh, what they enjoy when we are acting in a certain way, doing a certain thing. This is certainly someone who's very in touch with their feminine side, and as a result, uh, has you know this very sort of complex um, uh, emotional framework. And again, this ability to listen and understand and know uh, the opposite sex, because uh, there's a great sense of duality here, a, a great sense of, of masculine and feminine. How am I doing so far? Let me know what uh, you think about this reading in the comments. I'm I'm interested because I really have no idea about this person. <laughs> I just, I know very little, only what the palm is telling me. Now, I notice here, and I can appreciate, it's a very blurry image, but again, the heart and the headline is very, uh, they're very far apart. This Again, it shows um, an open mind, but an open heart. A very warm nature. Now, this is interesting. Notice on the right hand, the uh, lifeline here, it kind of curves around Venus, the Mount of Venus here, and it actually makes the Mount of Venus look smaller on the right hand than on the left. So we have a larger Mount of Venus. And this, this is really something because it shows that he is the sort of person who will give absolutely everything only to those he's closest to, only to those he trusts the most. And this may well have something to do with the way the heart line branches down towards the lifeline at the early age, uh, at the early stages of life. Now, I didn't really explain what this meant before. This is disappointment. This is hurt. This is emotional upheaval. Um, so when he was very young, something happened here that has created... Um, uh, it's an event here that's really inspired him in some way. That's not really the right word. It's uh, an emotional event that's that's um, enabled him uh, with a, a great sort of sense of understanding. And, and through that great sort of sense of understanding, through those experiences, he has um, likely uh, utilized this experience in his roles. When we experience real hurt, true pain, we can then uh, show others and influence and inspire with how that feeling has affected us through um, playing characters, playing roles on screen. Now, I mentioned earlier on uh, that this is a very sensitive person, and I think actually it goes beyond just being sensitive. I think this person has, I've already mentioned, great abilities to understand, not just listen and not just absorb the information around it, which I've already mentioned, but it goes beyond this. It's all of these things combined. This person has an ability, I believe, on some level, he's got some extra sensory ability. I believe he's a little bit psychic, actually. And I think he's very able to pick up on other people's thoughts and feelings. I think he's highly sensitive in this regard. The success line, which we can see on the right hand here, stems uh, from the heart line. And that shows um, uh, success normally from a very creative career, success from artistic abilities. And it also is linked to uh, success from um, a union, a, a kind of a, a, an emotional partnership. So it's often um, our partners support us, and and it's through that support that it strengthens our ability to um, towards prosperity. Now, notice in this image we don't see that same sunlight, and that is likely because when we hold our hands, so his hands are kind of splayed apart. He's, he's splaying his fingers a little bit like this, but when we look at this hand, he, he's he's kind of holding his fingers closer together, and it reveals, you know, stronger sun lines when we do that. So that's that's the reason why we see a very sort of different. Um, 
um, you know, the map of information that is the palm displays itself very differently. However, we display it ourselves. So it's showing a, a very sort of different set of showing is presenting the information very differently. Now, I do think that it's interesting to me that the career line after the, so here's the career line here. It's also known as the fate line. Now, fascinating this is because it comes from deep down into Pluto. Um, and Pluto is a place of ancestral memories. Now, when we see a fate line that comes from Pluto, it's often a sign of in Tibetan palmistry, in Indian palmistry, sorry. It's a sign of someone who has reincarnated, uh, come back with a purpose, uh, unfinished business from a past life. That's what it's showing. And it's it's interesting because it kind of takes one path, uh, path and then all of a sudden it veers off. So from a very young age here, there was a decision that was made and the path changes drastically and it's very strong, it's very focused. There's a, a, an all-knowing sense about what it is they're going to do. And then here we see uh, at the age of about 18, there is some sort of interference here some sort of obstacle and at the same time it's linked towards another career path so it's almost as though the effort of having to do a second thing alongside what it is they want to do was an obstacle in itself now when we there's these two paths if you like one might have been a hobby one might have been a day job uh, one might have been training for something and the other might have been um you know learning of another kind so it, it, i think this is probably um acting school around so i i would say i don't actually know anything about this guy and i'm probably getting this wrong but no i'm getting timings wrong here this this is about 18 this is about the age of 22 perhaps and, and where the fate line meets the headline is generally about the age of 35. The fate line kind of slows down in its time as it gradually reaches up towards the palm, as it reaches up towards the Saturn Mount, as it does for most people. So I'm looking for corroboration elsewhere on the palm here. Now, look, this is the lifeline. And inside the thumb here, this is the inner Mars Mount. And we see here um, an obstacle, an influence that comes uh, within the sort of family sphere so there's there's something at home here that is uh, looking to obstruct this person's way of life their environment and it's at the age of 26 so this wasn't long ago for this person and it, it looks to you know cause some sort of obstacle in their life it could well be this actually right here it could well be this and this is 10 years here, this line right from here to here. And after the, the the fate line crosses the headline and reaches up to the heart line, this is 35 and right up to here is 53. You can see how the fate line slows down in time as time goes on. Uh, this is a generalization. It's not true for everybody. And in fact, I think with this person, it's probably not 100% accurate just because his headline starts so high up on Jupiter. Now, you might have noticed the headline is on the straight side, but it does take, it does meander ever so slightly. And this, I think, is um, there might be some battles with mental health for this person. There might be um, some, I've already said indecision, so there could be some anxiety. There could be um, some uh, sort of coping mechanism to do with around how they, they feel about the future. There could be some, um, uh, the, the, the headline, as I say, we've already mentioned that it's a strong connection with the self, their idea of the self, so there's the potential identity uh, issues here, potentially sort of eating disorders here, body dysmorphia perhaps, you know. I mean, I don't, I don't, I'm just sort of conjecture here a little bit. One of the signs for an, um, how should I put this? Unhealthy eating habits or um, unhealthy relationships with food is a large gap between uh, Jupiter and Saturn and a large gap between Apollo and Mercury. And we do see a little bit of that here. And this is quite common with people with long palms and long fingers. And I wouldn't necessarily say this is a water hand as such, 
but I do think there are, yeah, there's potential here for an unhealthy relationship with food. This is likely, again, tied towards sensitivity. When the world seems like an unbearable place, it's generally because we're extremely sensitive. Uh, quite a common coping strategy for that is our relationship with food. It's control. Now then, this is the part in the video where I drop a bit of a bombshell because I believe there could be some heartbreak at the age of 31. I think he might well go through some heartbreak at 31. And I say that because of this right here. It's hard to see, but there's a, an obstruction here which crosses the life, the career, the head, the heart, and reaches right up into Mercury, this place of communication, expression, how we reveal ourselves to the world. This, this information comes out into the open unavoidably, and it seems everybody knows about this news. This is, of course, the left hand, so it's how he's affected emotionally by this incident. And when we look at the right, don't quite see that same pattern of events so it might well practically physically as this is the right hand affect them all that much it affects them internally and that makes perfect sense um with this person as well i don't think it's going to be you know any sort of prenup i don't think kids are going to be involved i don't think it's going to be a highly sort of environmentally impactful um event in this person's life i think it is going to crush them unfortunately i could be wrong I hope i'm wrong but that's what i see in this person's palms and the other thing here is, and this is certainly noteworthy, notice this line right here. This is a loyalty line. He is highly devoted to his work. And I believe, uh, and I've already said this to those he's closest to as well. Um, I, I, as I say, I don't think he lets a lot of people in, but once he does, he is... Uh, devout i think there's a, a a great sense of loyalty here um you know high idealism i think he expects a lot from others i think he expects a lot from himself as well i think he's highly devoted to uh, the work that he does as well so i think i'm going to leave it at that because being so young it's very difficult to talk about things very far off into the future i could say a couple of things about what i think will happen in his 50s but i don't really see the point because the palms show us uh, a view of the road ahead if we continue to go down, if we continue to do the same things we're doing in the present. If we change the things we're doing in the present, then so too does the information on our palms. It's really that simple. So there's really no point in looking too far ahead because in a few years' time, these lines will change, as, as too will yours. Uh, the lines in your palms as well so let me know what you think of this palm reading i'm really interested to know what your thoughts are uh, on my evaluation of uh, timothy chalamet and um and as well as uh, what your thoughts are on on this man on on uh, himself as a person uh, as an actor and uh, his influences so let me uh, yeah let me stop there and uh, please like, please subscribe, please give this video a share if you liked it. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.